Hey guys, welcome Hi, back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always for being here. Yes, thank you. Okay, welcome to Witness Week. We are having a courtroom. What is that? <laughs> Do tell. <laughs> Us all. <laughs> we are having a courtroom drama week. We love a theme. We had a big courtroom poll on Patreon. Poll A had eight, poll B had eight. The top three from each went Bracket. to the Shoot. finals. And I wanted to watch them all. This has surprisingly become one of my favorite genres that I've watched on the channel. Like I really- I wouldn't expect that though. I think like the courtroom is so fun. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah. So I decided to just watch the top three. So tonight we're watching Aaron Brockovich. Second place was Philadelphia and third place was Primal Fear. So that okay. is what we're gonna watch this week. I've Harley. never heard of any of those movies, uh, but I'm excited. Okay, just from the limited information you have, what is Aaron Brockovich about? Courtroom. <laughs> what else you got? Law and Order vibes, witnesses, and... And who do you think is the star? She's famous. Oh, it's a she. Uh -huh. uh, when did this movie come out? 90s, I think. Maybe early 2000s. Sandra Bullock. Close. Julia Roberts. Yes. <gasps> yes, we love our leading lady, Julia I Roberts. I feel like... Oh, that's fun. I love We've you. watched, mm, like, nothing of hers on the channel. I'm probably forgetting a major awesome Yeah, one, not a ton on the channel. I mean... Uh, yes. We've seen a lot. Yes, I've but. seen all her chick flicks, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. We watched one thing with her. Yeah. Anyways. 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 Okay, so I am so excited about this week and to compare and contrast these different stories and how it all okay. plays out. Ooh. The only, I'm with you. I only know that Julia Roberts is in this and okay. that it's a courtroom movie-ish. This was on my mom's favorite movie poll wow. thing. I think my dad, I think that was Runaway Jury. But it's been on my short list for a long time. Right. So I'm really excited. And go. yeah, if you want to vote on these fun polls, uh, early access, full length reactions, check out my Patreon here and like and subscribe here. That's good. Instagram's here. Okay. I got an Instagram. <gasps> Carly got an Instagram. On Instagram. Her handle is Carly Popcorn. So come on over. Come Mine's over. just popcorn to bed. Okay, let's do it. I had popcorn, but I already finished the whole bowl. So. Weren't weren't. <laughs> That's so cruel. It was just a little skinny pop bag. I love Skinny Pop, but the, like the tiny 100 calorie bag, it would have taken us like four to do it. We would need it our own. Oh, oh. I also love based on true stories. I have kids, learned a lot right there. Yeah, and I'm great with people. You'd have to observe me to know for sure, but you can trust me on that. I'm extremely fast learner. You show me something in a lab once and I've got it down. I got a job with floor engineers and constructors in Irvine. I fell madly in love with geology. Geology? Yeah, but I, well, I lost my job because my boy came down with the chicken pox, had 104 temperature, and you know, my ex-husband was useless, so. Uh, I'm rooting for her. Yeah. Julia Roberts. Gosh, Morning. she scared the crap out of me. He hit the back. Yeah, yeah, I think she's gonna be okay. Oh, <sighs> but I think she's going to court. Your nine o'clock's here already. Aaron Brockovich, car accident, not her fault, she says. Aaron, hi. Hi. Ed Masry's now here. Sit, sit, sit down, sit down. Sit. It wasn't her fault. No, she had the, the green light. Screen. Listen, whoever did this to you made one hell of a mistake, and you and me. We're gonna make him pay for it. I was pulling out real slow. Out of nowhere, his Jaguar comes racing around the corner. They took some bone from my hip and <gasps> put it in my neck. I'm about $17,000 in debt right now. I couldn't take painkillers because they made me too groggy to take care of my kids. Is your ex-husband helping out? Which one? There's more than one? Yeah, there's two. Why? So, you must have been feeling pretty Desperate. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't have to be ashamed of that, but I, I know. know they're going to use it against her. A doctor in a Jaguar must have looked like a pretty good meal ticket. Objection. Objection. That asshole smashed in my 
fucking neck. Now let's try and settle down oh, here. Oh, settle down. I've got seventy-four dollars in the bank. Do they teach lawyers to apologize? Because you suck at it. Just like that? It's over. She gets nothing. His I mean, insurance. I should have like to pay. Yeah. Her medical bills, right? Hey, get in the house. No dripping. <laughs> oh, I'm stressed. Okay, no. Oh. For you? Just a cup of coffee. Okay. Mommy, you're not eating? Well, my lawyer took me out to a fancy lunch to celebrate. Oh. I don't I don't really have a, a, a resume. No, I don't I don't have any computer skills, but I, oh. She's gotta learn to spin it yes. a little bit. Yes, I, I'm holding for Ed Masry. I'm a client. I want him to call me. It's as simple as that. Hey, hey. Hey, what's she doing? She works here. <laughs> You never called me back. I left messages. Donald seems to think that you There's said that- There's two things that aggravate me, being ignored and being lied to. Sorry about that. I, I don't really need am. pity, I need a paycheck. But when you spend the past six years raising babies, it's real hard to convince someone to give you a job that pays worth a damn. <gasps> I'm smart and I'm not leaving here without a job. I like it. If it doesn't work out, fire me. Don't make me back. Oh my gosh. And here's your disc. And now I want you to come with me. I want to show you where the Xerox machine is. Everybody has a code. Do I get to pick my own code? We'll see. <laughs> Can you tell me who I talked to about maybe getting an advance on my paycheck? Rosalind's the office manager. She's gone already. She leaves early. Thank you. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here, here. I've only got uh, hundreds. I don't I don't want your money, Mr. Masry. Where do you think your paycheck comes from? Here, have a good weekend. Thank you. Turk is like, that is really nice. I know. You know? I can feel her desperation yeah. and her... Uh... Oh. oh, she's so little. They're so precious when they sleep. Oh, God, yeah! <laughs> Hello? We know him, right? Well, hold on there. Let's start over, okay? My name's George. What's yours? Just think of me as the person next door who likes it quiet. Hey, come on. Don't be like that. We, hell, we live next door to each other. Who is he? I know. We know him. Was he in Johnny, Utah, maybe? You give me your number. I mean, I already got your address, so you can't get away. Trying okay. to see him without the long I hair. Know. It's the voice. You want my number. I do. I do want your number. Is that... Which number do you want, George? Oh, I like the way you say that, George. Oh, I know him. Ten. That's how many months old my baby girl. Eight is the age of my son. Who is how many times I've been married? Five oh three nine four three. That's my phone number. I'm guessing zero is the number of times you're gonna call it. Oh. Dead wrong about that zero thing, baby. He definitely does not lead with her strengths. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, real estate thing, pro bono. You know how to do that, don't you? Yeah. You're a girl. Why aren't you out to lunch with the girls? You're a girl. I guess I'm not the right kind. Mm -hmm. Now that you're working here, you may want to uh, rethink your wardrobe a little. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> think, uh, some of the girls are a little uncomfortable. Well, it just so happens. I think I look nice. I'll wear what I like if that's all right with you. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to rethink those ties. <gasps> oh, she? I would be on my very best behavior. I know. I don't think it's she can help so herself, funny. though. Yeah. With this real estate stuff, why are there medical records and blood samples in real estate files? Aaron, you've been here long enough. You don't know how to do your job by now. I am not about to do it for you. Yeah. But I wonder if she wanted it for a job or for, like, her own case or something. I don't know. Matthew! Katie! Matthew! Katie! Please just be at the park or something. No. What the hell happened? Hey, Mama. Hey. George. Hey. Can't believe she dumps my kids off when nobody's home. I was home. We're fine. Seriously, we cooked some burgers, had some milk. Do we love George? <laughs> yes. One, two, is it Bormir? No. Okay, this is. Yeah, we have to. Know. Sorry. Stop. <laughs> okay, this is adorable. How is he not in the top build cast? Who is it? Good night, buddy. Good night, night. What's that? What? This, this is Harley Davidson. And if I ever catch either one of you near one, knock you silly. Okay. What? 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 Cassie, we need you to do this. Page? 
I have to fight them out. Obviously not a good judge of character. I would have never left them with that idiot who cost a fortune and smelled like chicken fat. <laughs> oh, Two-Face. Oh right? my gosh, it's Harvey Dent. Yes. 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 Thank okay. you. Sorry, I just had to. What's the matter? You got so many friends in this world, you can't use one more? Huh? I'm serious. If you need someone to look after your kids, I don't have a job now, so by choice. I work when I need to. Yeah? And what do you do the rest of the time? You live off your trust fund? No, I do construction, which pays real good, and I make it last by living cheap. I hope that's not supposed to impress me. Hey. You always this hard on people who try to help you? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, it's no big deal. I mean, you know, if it doesn't work out, you can always send them back to the chicken fat lady. This isn't going to get you laid, you know? No, that's good, because I didn't find you attractive either. <laughs> I feel like the world has been really hard to her, and so, yeah. like, she can't help it but be... Be hard back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you guys have Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, would you mind if I investigate this a little further? Investigate what? This real estate thing with the Jensen's? It's the pro bono case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't mind? Okay, great. She does have a wonderful smile. She really does, that Julia Roberts smile. Oh. You know? Hi. Hi. Donna Jensen? You're a lawyer? Hell no. I hate lawyers, I just work for them. <laughs> <laughs> I look around here and I think if they want this place, they're gonna have to pay for it. They just came to you and wanted to buy it. Oh yeah! Oh, I don't wanna move. Why you're corresponding with PG&E about your medical problems? They paid for the doctor's visit. And not like with insurance where you pay and a year goes by and maybe you see some money. They just took care of it. We never even saw a bill. Why'd they do that? Because of the chromium. Yeah. Well, that's what kick this whole thing off. I can't figure out why she's investigating. If she's trying to figure out something for herself or she just actually wants to know about the case and like learn about it all. I think that's why. I think she's just curious. Yeah. I don't know. It wants to do good do at a her good job. job. And... Yeah. And then this chrome six, hexavalent chromium, which depending on the amounts can be very harmful. With repeated exposure to toxic levels, God, anything really. Chronic headaches and nosebleeds to respiratory disease, mm -hmm. heart failure, reproductive failure. It gets into your DNA too, so you pass the trouble along to your kids. <gasps> oh my gosh. Have you been to their water board? They keep records of anything water related within their jurisdiction. Yeah, these kids just want to win the case. Yeah. Looking out for the other little people. Yeah. Thank you very much. Pleased to meet you. I'm Erin. Erin. Cool. I'm on the prowl for some water records. You come to the right place. Oh, she can turn it on when she, she needs knows to. knows what she's doing. It's for my boss. He's in this water dispute. It would probably be easiest if I just squeezed back there and poked around myself. Oh, heck yeah. Come on back. <laughs> heck yeah. Well, I'll call you if I need anything. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Julia Roberts. Her clothes coming handy up here. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Clean up. Uh oh. Hexavalent. That's the bad kind. Definitely the bad kind. Plume. Plume. That's like the. Right? One mile north. Hook, line, and sinker. You go, Julia. Or Aaron. I feel like there's gonna... People are oh, gonna yeah. start making things okay. very hard for uh -huh. her. Well, there may be jobs where you can disappear for days at a time, but this isn't one of them. You don't do the work, you don't get to stay. That's all I've been doing. Ask Mr. Masry, he knows. You ask Mr. Masry. He fired. <gasps> You've been gone for a week. I left a message. I've been dealing with this real estate thing. That's not how we work here. You don't just uh, leave a message. Well, what am I supposed to do? Check in every two seconds? It's called accountability. I'm not talking to you, bitch! <gasps> what I'm gonna do is make a few calls on your behalf. I'm don't okay. bother. You're trying to make yourself feel less guilty about firing someone with three kids to feed. Uh-oh. Get back to work! <laughs> back to work! <laughs> no! Ah, uh, come on! You could have salvaged the situation! Yo. George. George. <laughs> I got fired. What? You're working so hard. Doesn't make one f***ing bit of difference. I cannot believe that's Harvey Dent. <laughs> God, I was Miss Wichita, for Christ's sake. You are living next door to a real live beauty queen. I still have my tiara. 
And I thought it meant I was gonna do something important with my life, that it meant I was someone. You're someone to me. Are you gonna be something else that I have to survive? Because I'll tell you the truth, I'm not up to it. He's sweet to her he kids. He's really sweet. He fixes her leak. Maybe he's a good one. Or when he fell in the grass. <laughs> yeah, because she already loved her. You're a very special lady. Don't be too nice to me, okay? What? Hmm. Makes me nervous. I get that. <laughs> <sighs> Are we forgetting about the whole case, though? Oh. Well, I had a, an interesting call this afternoon. He wanted you to know that the legal limit for hexavalent bromium is, is 0 0.05 uh, parts per million. And at the rate you mentioned, uh, 0.58. It could be responsible for the cancers in uh, that family you asked about, the, the Jensen's. Isn't it funny how some people go out of their way to help people and others just fire them? You, you were gone. I just assumed you were off uh, having fun. Okay, oh, Mr. Old School. Hey, look, what, what is all this? Uh... Hire me back and I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. You have to hire me back. I got a ton of bills to pay. Yes. Fine. She's in and out of the hospital with tumors, believing one thing has nothing to do with the other. They invited about 200 residents from the area, telling them all about Chromium 3 and how good it is for you. Oh. <gasps> Uh, that that uh, uh, document, you didn't happen to uh, make a copy. Of course I did. Well, could I have a look at it? I want a raise and benefits, including dental. Okay, 5% raise, we'll talk about benefits later. 10. 10% 10 raise and benefits. Yes! <laughs> Good negotiating. What makes you think you can just walk in there and find uh, what we need? They're called boobs, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Fax these to this number. And you say that this stuff, this hexavalent chromium, well, it's poisonous. Yeah. It's it's just got to be different than what's in our water, cause cause ours is okay. The guys from from PG and E told me they sat right in the kitchen and and, and told me. Oh my gosh! The toxicologist that I've been talking to, he gave me a list of problems that can come from like chromium exposure. Everything you all have is on that list. She probably doesn't want it to be that because she's only responsible yeah, for. That's not what our doctor said. Her family being he sick. The doctor that PG and E paid for. Yeah. But PG and E paid for that doctor. Ashley! You're at the pool! Oh. Okay. It just got chilled. Me too. In the interest of putting this whole thing to rest, no. Who's willing to offer the Jensen's $250,000 for their home? How about in terms of medical expenses? $250,000 is isn't going to come close. But that's not PG&E's fault. Uh. <laughs> Everything the Jensen's have had, proven reaction to exposure to hexavalent chromium, they have had. You go, Ed. Breast cysts, uterine cancer, Hodgkin's disease. A million things gonna cause those problems. <gasps> Bad genes, irresponsible lifestyle. Our offer is final. Before you go off on some crusade, you might want to remember who it is you're dealing with here. Oh. PG&E is a $28 billion corporation. I didn't know it was that much. Wow! They can offer a little bit more than 250K yeah. then, huh? Uh, I'm Tom Robinson. We used to live across the street from the Jensen's. PG&E bought our house last year. Now well, the vet said they had a bunch of tumors and stuff. Now you can see they couldn't really walk. They probably bought their house for pennies. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh. Uh, there's something else, too. Uh, Mandy here has had uh, five miscarriages. I figured it was something I did. Then Donna said you thought that this chromium might be to blame for her problems. Oh, my gosh. How was school? Fine. I know you're upset, but the way this job is, things come up at the last minute, real important things that I gotta deal Fine. with. Fine. It's not like I missed dinner all the time. We all ate together last night. You were reading the whole time. Oh, that's hard. It's really hard. PG&E messed with our water. Why would they bother saying anything about it to us at all? Case like this, you only have one year from the time you first learn about the problem to file suit. So PG&E figures, well, we'll let the cat out of the bag, tell the people the water's not perfect, and if we can ride out the year with no one suing, we'll be in the clear forever. 
All we're doing is using this information to get you a real nice purchase price on your house. That way PG&E can still look good to their shareholders. No, we want to see. Hold on, hold on. They said not yet. My fee's 40% of whatever you get awarded. Boy, do I know how you feel. First time I heard that number, oof, I said, you've got to be kidding me. I asked him what he makes if I don't get anything. Then I don't get anything either. So I realized he's taking a chance too. Come on, Ed, you gotta trust her. That was a good speech. Yeah, he needs her. Mm -hmm. You got a pen, honey? No sales experience. Come on, she's got it. Hi, I'm Erin Brown. I know who you are. I told Donna we're not interested in getting involved. Donna told me that you've been sick. Oh, you people don't give a sh. Well, it's just so good of you to have me in when oh, I just stopped by. Good day to like, come by. It's one of the good ones. Come on. Oh, stop. You drive all the boys crazy, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. You drive them wild. <laughs> she wants to go back to school. I'm trying to hopefully do that. Yeah, get her out. Oh, gosh. I get out of here. It's heartbreaking. They knew. They're literally giving kids cancer. Oh. With a little effort, I really think we can just nail their asses to the wall. I admit, I don't know shit about shit, but I know the difference between right and wrong. Lover's quarrel. Oh, bite my ass, Krispy Kreme. How many families uh, are we talking about here? 11 people so far. You mean there's more? I found one document at the water board that was a toxic test well from 1967. A hell of a lot more people have lived on that land since then. This is a whole different ball game. Kind of like David and what's his name? It's kind of like David and what's his name's whole fucking family. Well, if and only if you find all the evidence to back this up, I'll do it. I'll take it on. Gathering evidence is a big job. <gasps> Taking on a lot more responsibility. <laughs> Another raise wouldn't hurt. I don't believe this. <laughs> Shooting her shot. Someone has to pay. They can't just let yeah, them get away with it. PG&E. I know. But you know what I mean? You can't just get away with it. And that money that they would pay these people for their houses is pocket change to them. I know. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh do you want to raise some gloves? Oh, I don't think I could do the gloves. Oh my gosh. I love her dedication. She is braver than I am. Me too. Oh, I thought she fell in. Oh. Come on, aren't you gonna play? Roll the dice. They're so cute. Is this the Aaron Patti Brockovich that's been snooping around the waterboard? Yeah, who's this? You should watch your step. A young lady like yourself with three young children really should think again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. You don't think you're a little out of your reach? That's what those arrogant PG and E want me to think. Aaron, it doesn't have to be so complicated. There are plenty of jobs out there. How do you know? Because if you got a problem with me taking care of your kids instead of getting some job, you just say I so, okay? Say, I said I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. I know what these kids can sleep through. I probably know better than you. Oh, crap. Yeah. Don't fight. Oh. About to drive off the road. I'm so tired. Keep your weight, will you? Why don't you tell me about your dick? What went on back there? Come to think of it, we had a pretty big event around here. Beth started talking. Beth? My Beth? And she pointed at a ball and said, ball. It was pretty intense. You know, seeing somebody's first word in their little cheeks. And she was looking at it like she had been looking at it for nine months. She was just sitting there with her arm out. Our jaws just dropped. And we're like looking at her. It was great. Oh, it's like so tender, but so heartbreaking because she missed it. My name is Erin, and I brought some information today. I thought you might like to read these. So you look over that if you have any questions or anything, I'll be here all day. Oh, she's bigger now. Yeah, now you good. I would like to go home. You have anything done? Oh, a lot of good work done. Exactly. Let's go, brother. Get on. Oh, he loves her kids so easily, and... This is Nelson Perez. He works over at the compressor station. pg and &E. <clears throat> why don't, why don't you guys go ahead without me? Oh, no, sweetie, I'll be right behind you. Okay, so Fine, go, 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 go. Shoot. This is hurting my heart. I know. Can Ed do it? Then they dump the excess water into these ponds. They've been covered over, and not too carefully, because if you dig one inch under the surface, dirt's as green as a fucking shamrock. And that's what caused the contamination? The problem actually started on the bottom. In most cases, you would line these ponds so this shit didn't seep into the ground. They skipped that step. They did mm -hmm. know it. 
It's like 14 years of hex chrome just flowing into the groundwater. I mean, this is a monster case. We're up to 411 plaintiffs. With... pg and &E Corporate is claiming they had no way of knowing what was going on in Hinkley. They had to know. Who showed me the document that proves it? And they didn't know. And if they didn't know, we can't hit them with punitive damage. Wow. So they're saying this little plant didn't tell the, the main corporation? Yes, they can't be at fault. But they they are responsible for... They should be. Yeah. pg and &E will submit a demur, a list of reasons attacking each complaint, claiming that each cause of action has no merit. And if the judge agrees with them, he'll dismiss our case. pg and &E will have no reason to settle. Then it's all over. This is like suits. Basically, it all comes down to what this one judge decides. Basically, yeah. Mm. Well, I'd got so used to having him come up benign. I guess I just didn't expect it. Oh, I sure wish I would have had longer to get used to the idea. You think if you got no uterus and no breasts, you're still technically a woman? Sure you are. Oh, my gosh. Oh? We're gonna get them, Aaron, are we? You gotta promise me that we're gonna get them. This is based on a true story. Yeah. This is making my blood boil. I have reviewed all of the information carefully. I'm ready to give my decision. Before I do, is there anything anyone wants to say? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Um, let her speak. In the matter of the plaintiffs of Hinkley, California versus Pacific... I'm too nervous. Me too. Each of the 84 motions to strike are denied, and the causes of action against Pacific Gas and Electric... Oh. On a more personal note, as a resident here in Barstow, I am disturbed by reference to evidence that suggests that not only was hexavalent chromium used, but that your clients actually sent these residents pamphlets telling them that it was good for them. Tell your clients they're going to trial. Yes! Let's be honest here. $20 million is more money than these people have ever dreamed of. Oh, see. Now that pisses me off. Let's be honest. We all know they're more out there. $20 million isn't shit when you split it between them. These people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy or have their spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom. So before you come back here with another lame ass offer, I want you to think real hard about what your spine is worth or what you might expect someone to pay you for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. Multiply that number by 100. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. By the way, Cheers. We water brought in Cheers to that. You folks came from Well and Hinkley. Oh, <gasps> yes, Arian. I think this meeting is over. Damn right it is. <laughs> Fiery, and I'm here for it. Oh, the bomb blow up. You're letting the kids run wild. Oh no! Oh no! Not ready. What's that? I saw him in a mall one day. I said, damn, those look good on those beautiful ears. So I bought them and I said, next time Aaron does something nice or says something nice, I'll surprise her with them. You know how long ago that was? Six months ago. I'm sorry. I and just... so what I'm thinking is uh, either you got to find a different job or a different guy. I can't leave my job, George. Yes, you can. You can just quit. People do it all the time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I got people respecting me. I never had that before, ever. Please don't ask me to give it up. Not. What about what your kids are giving up? Look, I'm doing more for my kids now than I did living with my parents. One day they'll understand that. Well, what about me? You think either one of the men who gave me those children asked me what I wanted before he walked away? All I've ever done is bend my life around what men decide they need. Aaron, I'm not them, so, I mean, what more do I have to do to prove that to you? I need her to salvage this. Yes. But he needs a little something. I know. Give him something. I mean, you got a raise. You can afford daycare. You don't need me. The kids, they oh, love him. They love him. It's hard because I can see both sides. Me too. Like her job is, she's doing a lot of good. But you have to have balance. No. Aaron, this is our new partner, Kurt Potter. He'll be handling Hinkley now. You've done a fabulous job. Thanks, I appreciate you coming over. Our new partner? When was I gonna hear about this in the monthly newsletter? Did they ever tell you about that airline case? I got my ass kicked by this guy. It was Kurt Potter. He just gave me this check. Covers all our expenses to date, the whole thing. This is good news. Why is it bad news for her? I think she just feels like bitter because she's done all the hard work and she's sacrificed so much and now they're gonna get the payout, she probably thinks, right? Package from Nazarene Vitato. That's her law firm. Yeah. 
Dolly. Nice little bonus. Her car. I am gonna cry. Ed, <laughs> that little softy. PG&E has requested that we submit to binding arbitration. That's where we try the case without a jury, just before a judge. How many plaintiffs do you have? Six hundred and thirty-four. We need to get them together in groups of 20 or 30, and each one gets a go before the judge to determine damages. If we went to trial, PG&E could stretch this over 10 years, appeal after appeal. And they could never see anything. People are expecting a trial. Kurt thinks it's the best way to go. You know what? Why don't I take Aaron down the hall so we can no. see this stuff? No. No. Don't talk to me like I'm an idiot, okay? I may not have a law degree, but I've spent 18 months on this case. Yes. She knows the color of their kitchens and their kids' names. I said, whose number do you need? You don't know 600 plaintiffs' numbers by heart. Try me. Whose number do you need? Annabelle Daniels. 714-454-9346. Lived on the plume since birth. Wanted to be a synchronized swimmer, so she spent every minute she could in the pool. Her parents are Ted and Rita. Rita has chronic headaches and nausea and underwent a hysterectomy last fall. We got off on the wrong foot here. That's all you got, lady. Two wrong feet and ugly shoes. <laughs> she does not make it easy. <laughs> I mean, it was amazing, but she does not make it easy. 6086 Bridge Road. You know who the other lawyer is? The the big lawyer? He's the dad him. in A Walk to Remember. Oh, I'm pretty sure. If you could reserve sentimental embellishments, I'd appreciate it because they're not going to help you in court. Oh, goody. I just need facts, dates, time. I don't want to come to the house again. She, she's kind of stuck up and she upsets Annabelle. Okay, if you don't if you don't like Teresa, that's okay. And, and Ed and I are still here for you. I called Ed two days ago, Aaron, and he still hasn't called me back. Everyone's pretty upset about this arbitration thing. I mean, Pamela's written a letter in the Hinkley News telling everybody to get new lawyers. Pamela! Don't lie to us. I will take care of this, I promise. What I am saying is we still don't have a smoking gun. Oh! I thought you were taking a sick day. So did I. What's going on in there? Oh, she's, he scheduled that meeting on purpose today or something? I don't know. Take this away from me. Nobody's taking anything. They screwed up, Aaron. Do I have your attention now? They screwed up and they admit it. Pamela Duncan wouldn't even get on the phone with Pamela's me. got everybody seeing red. The whole thing is about to fall apart. Why? Now, before we even go to arbitration, we have to get the plaintiffs to agree. How many? Usually they're required to get about 70%. PG&E is demanding 90. Now, do you understand? This is serious. I'm not serious. You're emotional. You make this personal, and it isn't. That is my work! My time away from my kids! If that's not personal, I don't know what it is! Everything's falling apart. I know. Okay, I think we need a town hall, but you also can't walk away. Aaron, you can't walk away. Hey, I think this might be your town hall. And she needs to speak. Yes. Arbitration isn't all that different from a trial. There's no jury binding arbitration. No jury. They need the people in the jury. Mm -hmm. It's definitely between 50 and 400 million dollars. Yeah. Well, uh, how does it get divided? Yeah, who gets what? Aaron, hey, come on, Aaron. Please. Now, the point we have to address tonight is getting everyone to agree that going binding arbitration is preferable to a trial that could go on for 10 years before you see any money. Maybe some of us want to wait 10 years. Oh, crap. Come on, Aaron. Aaron, we're losing them. I do not believe this is a sellout. This is the best shot at getting everyone some money now. There are people in this room who can't afford to wait to take that chance. So how many altogether? We got just about everybody that came here tonight, but just about 150 short. You did good. We'll see. George, we need George back. We need George. It's like Rocky and Adrian. She needs, she needs and, him. Yeah, doesn't he miss the kids? So how long is this gonna take? I don't know, a few days. Got your own room. Come on, give him some. I am really sorry, George. Are the kids eating? No. Where's she going? Oh, door, door to door. door. Door to door. She's got to find the smoking gun still. I though. know. How? Maybe they'll come in one of these stories. Is there any kind of contract to what she's going to get? You know, I mean, I feel like Ed will take care of her. This girl's the same age as me. 
She's one of the sick people? She is, but, um, you know, that's why I'm helping her. Why can't her own mom help her? Because her own mom's real sick, too. You know, it's true, like, they don't care about being rich. They're never going to no. get their health back, no. though. And their uh -huh. kids' health, like, yeah. there's no... Oh, that genetic part? Yeah. Like... You've been at this all day? Yeah. yeah. You look tired. You want some coffee? I'd love some. It's that guy. He keeps I know. Up. Don't I know you? You were at the barbecue in Hinkley and at the town meeting. Mm. I feel like he's, like, with PG&E or something. Mm-hmm. When I saw you, I said to myself, there's something about her. I really like that girl. Matt, can I get that coffee to go? Sure thing. Matt, help her out. Yeah. You're the type of person I could say anything to. This guy's really creeping me out. Mm -hmm. Would it be important to you if I told you that when I worked at the Hinkley plant, I destroyed documents? What did you say your name was? Charles Embry. Smoking gun. A bit nervous right now. Do you feel nervous? Yeah. Hey, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. He said that he destroyed records. He worked at Hinkley. Slow down. Charles Embry. First I thought he was trying to kill me, but then I just thought he was trying to pick me up, and I don't know, maybe he is. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, go back and see if he'll make a declaration. Would you like another beer, or...? I, uh... My cousin passed away yesterday. He had kidney tumors, no colon. His intestines were eaten away. 41 years old. I remember seeing him over at the plant. to would be cleaning the cooling towers. Maybe the workers, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, doctor's masks. And it'd be soaked in red from the nosebleeds. Oh my gosh, I just... Oh, it makes you feel ill. Me too. <laughs> and out of nowhere, the supervisor calls me up to the office and says, we're gonna give you a shredder machine. Did you get a look at the stuff you destroyed? There's a lot of dull stuff. But then there are a few memos about the holding ponds, the water in them. You were told to destroy those? That's right. I wasn't a very good employee. Here's the documents. 634. They're all signed. Internal PG&E documents, all about the contamination. Oh my gosh. But it says, yes, the water's poisonous, but it would be better for all involved. This matter was not discussed with the neighbors. Stamp received March 1966. How did you do this? I just went up there and performed sexual favors. 634 blowjobs. <laughs> I'm really quite tired. <laughs> she just asked you. I know. <laughs> I'm still not sure why you wanted me to come. I want to show you what you helped to do. I wanted to come out here instead of calling because the judge came back with a number. For the whole group, or? He's going to make them pay $333 million. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> and um, <laughs> five million of that to your family. Five million dollars? Five million dollars. I don't even know how much money that is. <laughs> oh, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad George got to see it too. Hi. Whoa. 40% of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody loves the desk. Uh, Goliath, <laughs> beware. I, uh, I have your bonus check. Oh, but yeah. uh, I want you to be prepared. Figure's not exactly what we discussed. Why not? Right? That figure was not uh, appropriate. Oh, I love it. It's not complicated. You know what? That is the fucking problem. Do you know why people think all lawyers are backstabbing? Just show her the check! I want you to know something, Ed. It is not about the number. It is about the way my work is valued in this firm. No matter what I do, you're not... I decided that uh, the figure you proposed was uh, inappropriate, so I increased it. Oh, my God. Do they teach beauty queens how to apologize? <laughs> because you suck at it. <laughs> Her life. You watched so pumped. With, oh, little peppers. She got $2 million. Step. Dollars. The settlement award to the plaintiffs in the case of Hinkley versus pg &E was the largest in a direct action lawsuit in the United States uh, history. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> pg &E claims they no longer use hexavalent chromium any of their compressor plants and that all of their holding ponds are aligned to prevent groundwater contamination. Let's go. Seven other cases pending, including ones going to pg &E regarding a plant in Kettleman Hills. So like, did her and Jordan end up together though? Yeah, they yeah, did, right? They did. They did. They did. <laughs> they did. Oh, I love justice. But it's still, it's still not enough, but... Yeah, you can never really get your health back. It's... 
best case scenario, yes. but yes. Oh, Erin freaking broke Bro- it, bitch. Shoot. She crushed it. Oh my gosh. Do you feel like some like Legally Blonde vibes? Yes. I mean, obviously this is the OG, so maybe Legally Blonde and is true like your Brockovich vibes, but yes. <laughs> okay, details, details, but anyways. But yeah, someone being underestimated, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like so completely underestimated, and then just crushing it. And it's not we love like to see it. no one else could have done that for her. I know. Because it wasn't just about the lawyer and jargon. At the very beginning, she said, she's a beautiful person. Yeah. We gotta trust her on that. She She's knocked on person. doors, she read, she picked up dead frogs. Like, yeah, that, she, she was dedicated. Yes. That and her good. and her kids' lives are forever changed. And those people's lives are forever changed. Oh, I just, it was satisfying. Yes. I mean, like we said, you can never get your health back, but they're going to be able to enjoy and not stress worry about or medical work. bills yeah. and like, yeah. yeah. And P&G had to admit that they did it. Yes. And they were wrong and they suck and they are evil. That basically. Is very true. Yeah. I'm sure they're a good company now, but yeah. at least they, you know, they got that. Mm-hmm. And Aaron and George were lived happily ever after. He was able to be a stay at home dad. Yes. But uh-huh. and, which is what he wanted to do. Yeah, he was so good. And he loved it. those kids like his own. Yeah. And they lived happily ever after. Yeah. And they got eating pancakes house. and eggs. Yeah, and he didn't have to, they could hire a cleaner and yeah, yeah. everything was great. All is good in the world. Yeah. And the daughter and the son are both lawyers. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. that could be fun. <laughs> yes. And Beth is still in college figuring out what she wants to do. Yeah. And they're just unpacking her dorm yeah. with her <laughs> together. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, I really liked it. Julia yeah. Roberts. Crushed it. Well, not only as like, I'm like, you are her. Like, she yeah. was so good at it. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Uh-huh. She never changed. And loved Brock it. Bitch, one of the same. Yep. Okay, thank you so much for watching along. I loved it. Can't wait till the next one. Witness week. Here we go. Have a good night.